Mistral AI has once again made waves with the introduction of their latest flagship model, U-Large, also known as Mistral Large. This advanced large language model boosts reasoning capacities at a top tier level, which is basically setting a new standard in the field. This is the world's second ranked model generally available through an API, and it's obviously behind the King GPT-4, but we will later see that it's coming quite close and it's basically closing the gap between the largest language model that's out there which is gpt4 now you can currently access this model through azure as well as through their own platform now unfortunately this model is closed sourced meaning that you will only be able to access it through their own data set or through their own web page and you can also obviously access it through their partners which is azure but at this moment it's actually closed source so that's one of the unfortunate things about this model what an amazing year for the private discord for simply being a patreon we offered nine paid subscriptions completely for free since the start of this year which only has been two months these plans add up to 700 dollars and more if you are to individually purchase them we've had insane partnerships with big ai companies giving out subscriptions to ai tools and frameworks completely for free like DeFi, nvidia and many others these are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency with ai not only do you access these subscriptions but you also gain the ability to get daily AI resources, AI news, consulting, networking opportunities, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. If you're interested in elevating your AI game, highly recommend that you take a look at the Patreon link in the description below and join today. This is something that you should definitely not miss out, so definitely take a look at this. We've seen the previous models of Mistral AI and they obviously did an amazing job as it was comparable to GPT 3.5 and Llama 2's 70 billion model with just a small 7 billion parameter model size. However, this new Mistral large model is now outperforming GPT 3.5 and Llama 2's 70B on every single benchmark. This is just absolutely nuts to see and you can see that this graph also shows the comparison of this new Mistral large model on MM lu which is versing gpt4 you have claude 2 you have gemini pro gpt 3.5 as well as llama 2 70b now the bench is obvious the benchmark is measuring the massive multitask language understanding and now this feature was already introduced previously but this is something that was kind of new to me and this is where you can actually access the mistral models through their own platform this is where you can use their new chat interface which is really cool to see and they've done a great job to design this ui so that you can access any mistral model that they have created through it and you can actually access it right now by signing up for their waitlist so i'll leave that link in the description below if you're interested but throughout today's video we're going to be taking a look at this new mistral large model further in detail taking a look at comparison metrics and so much more so with that thought guys stay tuned and let's get straight into the video if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Mistral Large, which is their latest and most advanced large language model that's available through their platform. Now, this is their new flagship model, which is boosting cutting edge text generation capabilities. It's also able to boost a top tier reasoning capability with its generation, and it excels quite well in complex multilingual reasoning tasks. This is where it can do quite well with text understanding, transformations, as well as with code generation. So you can see that it does quite well in practically every area. Now, this model was actually able to achieve impressive performance on widely uh, used benchmarks. And this is where we saw that it was able to outperform GPT 3.5 as well as Llama 270B on every single benchmark. Not almost every, I mean every single benchmark that's out there. 
some cool things to note about this model as well as its capabilities is that it can do quite well with multilingual tasks where it is natively fluent in English, French, Spanish, German, as well as Italian with a nonced understanding of grammar and cultural context. It has a 32K context window, which is really good to see, and it allows for precise information recall from large documents. So this basically means that you will be able to upload larger document sizes to the Mistral model and it will be able to process and compose a better generation based off the context that you give it. Its precise instruction following enables developers to design their moderation policies. This is something cool to see, and you can do this obviously through their chat interface, which is the thing that we saw previously. So as I mentioned before, you can access it through the platform which Mistral AI has developed, and you can safely have it hosted within their application. Now, you're also able to use it through their partners, which is Azure, and you can go over to this link and you can access it in Azure's AI Studio. They have a demonstration as to how you can get started. So firstly, you want to click on the AI Studio landing page where you're able to load this model up. You can simply deploy it right away after and you can click on the deploy and pick pay as you go option. So this will basically allow you to pay as you use it. And you can subscribe to the marketplace, which offers you the ability to deploy it. So firstly, you would need to pay for their marketplace. Once you have done that, you can then click on deploy and pay as you use the functionality of this model. Now let's take a look at Mistral Large's capabilities. And this is through the highlighted table, which is showcasing the comparison of other large language models on common sense and reasoning. And we saw that it also focuses on knowledge. And this was a model that actually outperformed every other model we saw in that bar chart at the start of the video. It's outperformed Llama 270B, the GPT 3.5, you have Claude 2, Gemini Pro 1.0 on every single benchmark, which is just nuts to me. And it's quite amazing as it also even outperforms GPT 4 on Arc as well as Tri Q and A. And this just goes to show that the performance of this pre trained model on various standard benchmarks does quite well and it even outperforms GPT 4 in certain cases. And it's just great to see that this is becoming a model that is quite proficient in handling complex reasoning and knowledge-based tasks and it's just great to see that Mistral AI has developed something new that can even go up against GPT-4 now. In terms of the multilingual capacities, they have also outlined how Mistral Large does in comparison to Llama 270B multilingual capacities. And if we go down a little bit more, it also showcases how proficient it is at mathematics and coding generation. And we can see clearly right over here that it's outperforming every single model upset GPT-4 and Gemini Pro on one single benchmark. And we can see that's on Human Evolve for Gemini Pro and on GSMK 8K, it's basically outperforming this Mistral model on mathematics. But in most cases, we can see that this is a new model that is quite well in code generation, which is really good to see. Now, not only did they release the Mistral Large model, but they also released Mistral Small, which is offering a more optimized model for low latency. And this is for tasks that are being using, or sorry, not being, but using a smaller token usage. Now, this model is actually surpassing the older Mistral 8x70 model in performance while also being able to boost a lower latency, which will serve as a refined option between their open weights and it offers for a more better possibility for their flagship model. So this will basically benefit from the same innovative features that the Mistral large model provides, including their RAG enablement. They also have function calling as well as their endpoints, which are offering a better simplified method with their open weight usage. Now with the open Mistral 7B model and the open Mistral 8X 7B model, what they've done is that they've added a new optimized model that is able to have endpoints like the Mistral small model. And they've also enabled it so that there is a multi-currency pricing for their organizational management. So this will allow for you to use all of these models through their platform.
Now, if we go down a little bit, they focused on JSON format and function calling. So what they're trying to do is that they're making this new stride in reducing latency across all endpoints. This is where JSON format mode will be able to ensure that the model that you're using is able to output a valid JSON. And it will basically facilitate for more natural interactions for anyone who uses their model. Obviously, the developers who use it for code generation, this would be really, really useful for them. Now, in terms of function calling, calling. This will also allow the devs to have an interface for Mistral's endpoints with their own tools will allow them to have a more complex interaction with their internal code. This will also allow you to use the APIs or databases a little bit better than before. Now, these are the current features that have been rolled out with this new Mistral Large model. You can see that they focused on a better stride to improve JSON format and function calling. They released this new Mistral Small model, and they also released this Mistral Large model, which is putting in a lot of work or a lot of attention, I would say, in the world of AI. But that's basically it for today's video on this new Mistral AI model. I hope you got some sort of info as to what they have done with this model. Now, I'll leave all these links in the description below. Now, I'll leave all the links as to what I used in today's video in the description below. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you want to access our private Discord where you can gain subscriptions completely for free, as well as consulting, networking opportunities, as well as further AI knowledge. Now, if you guys haven't followed me on Twitter, definitely recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.